All right, everyone, how do we convert between millimeters of mercury and kilopascals? So millimeters of mercury and kilopascals are two different units of pressure. So if you want to convert between those two units, you need to know the relationship between those two units. So up in the top right corner, we see that 760 millimeters of mercury is equal to 101.325 kPa, which is kilopascals. So that's the relationship that we're going to need. So let's set up our problem for this first one here, where we are converting 851 millimeters of mercury to kPa. So we're going to start with 851, and that is millimeters of mercury. And in the end, we want how many kPa that is. So to go from millimeters of mercury to kPa, we're gonna to have to multiply by a conversion factor. Okay, it'll just be a one step conversion. So one fraction, one conversion factor. And this conversion factor is the relationship that we talked about. Looking at our units though, millimeters of mercury is gonna be on the bottom and kPa will be on top. So then we can use that relationship where 760 millimeters of mercury is equal to 101.325 kPa. Okay, looking at our units, they'll cancel out just like we need. Millimeters of mercury is on top because that's what we're starting with. So we put it on bottom of our conversion factor so that they will cancel out and we will be left with kPa. So now we can plug this in our calculator. We will start with 851, and we're gonna multiply by our conversion factor. So since it's a fraction, we'll multiply by the top and divide by the bottom. So we will first multiply by 101.325, and then divide by 760. Hit equals and we get 113.4573355. Let's round that to just three significant figures, so we would get 113. All right, what if we're going in the opposite direction? What if we're going kPa to millimeters of mercury? So in this problem here, if we have 98.4 kPa, and we want to go turn that into millimeters of mercury. It'll be just like above. We're gonna have one conversion factor. This will be a one-step conversion, but we're gonna have kPa on the bottom, and we're gonna have millimeters of mercury on top. Again, so our units cancel out in the way we need them to. So we're gonna use the same relationship up here for these two units, except we're gonna have 101.325 kPa on the bottom, and we're gonna have 760 millimeters of mercury on top. So that conversion factor is a reciprocal of the conversion factor we used above, and that's because we're going in the opposite direction. So looking at our units, our kPa will cancel out, and we will be left with millimeters of mercury. So now we can plug this in our calculator. We're gonna start with 98.4, and again, multiply by the top and divide by the bottom of our conversion factor. So multiply by 760 and divide by 101.325. Hit equals, and this is what our calculator gives us. Let's round that to three significant digits, so we would get 738. All right, there you have it, how to convert between millimeters of mercury and kilopascals. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos, and thank you, thank you so much for watching.